today is oh my goodness i think it's our last day of reading this is just crazy i can't believe that we are at the end of distance learning and second grade oh this has gone too fast for me this year guys I don't even want to start talking about it too much because you don't want to see Mrs. Snyder start boohooing and not stop, right? Mm -hmm. Me neither. And we also need to make sure that we have plenty of time for this. So I'm off to uh, finish this book. That's my challenge today, right? So we'll see how we do on that. I left off at, hmm, I think Honey had been mixing a lot of ingredients. Do you remember that part? Here we go. A chance. As Honey searches for a whisk, Lumpy tips himself into the puddle of condiment. Not again, Honey scolds when she sees him. You are the messiest buffalo. But she doesn't bring Lumpy to the basement. Instead, she wets a dish rag and wipes the ketchup from his body. You didn't get any in your woolly front fur, she tells him, so I think we can just wipe it off. This was not supposed to happen. Lumpy needs to get to the basement as soon as possible. An operation is going on down there. Honey picks up the half tomato and squeezes the juice into her bowl. Then chili sauce and a few shakes of barbecue. She adds some yogurt and a handful of flour. Her experiment is only a light pink color. She whisks and whisks. Now she adds frozen raspberries. These make the milky mixture quite a bit pinker but now it's lumpy. She adds pimentos. Now it is very lumpy. I need a seed, Honey says to herself. She rummages for one in a low cupboard. She finds it, gets a large mug, and begins to strain the pink milk. Lumpy sees his opportunity. The seed is an inch away from his nose, and Honey is holding it with one hand and pouring with the other, but she's not holding the mug. Do you have a prediction right now what he's about to pull? Uh, uh, me too. He takes a risk while she's concentrating and bonk. Lumpy bangs his nose into the seed and tips the mug over. The pink milk spills across the table under Lumpy's buffalo belly and over the edge to the floor. Honey drops the sieve and knocks Lumpy into the puddle of milk. She runs for the dish rag and some paper towels. Mom! Lumpy lies there, triumphant, letting the pink disgustingness soak into his fur. Any minute now, he'll be in the basement. When Lumpy arrives, the dryer is still pulled out from the wall, her front door completely off. The workman has a collection of tools spread across the floor, but he's sitting on a plastic lawn chair with a tired expression on his face. It doesn't look good. Honey's mother shoves Lumpy into Frank's wash tub and grabs Tuck Tuck and some girl clothes out of the full laundry basket. She loads the washer and goes back upstairs to deal with the pink milk problem. The cycle begins. When the water rushes in, Lumpy can no longer hear what's going on in the basement. And he can't talk to Frank because Frank won't answer with the repairman in the room. Hi, Lumpy whispers to Tuck Tuck. Why would I know, says Tuck Tuck. You're in the laundry basket. Maybe you heard something? I don't hear about anything that goes on in this house, fusses Tuck Tuck, not that you would care. I care, says Lumpy, surprised. He's never known Tuck Tuck to be anything but kind and calm. If you do, you don't show it, snaps Tuck Tuck. I'm never in the linen closet with the other towels. I'm never in the grown-up bathroom with the other other towels. It's rare that I even get washed with anybody, she complains. And even my so-called friends don't tell me what's happening. Are you upset I didn't tell you the dryer was broken? It's not about the dryer, sulks Tuck Tuck. What's it about then, Lumpy asks. The water drains and Frank's tub begins to spin. Guys, if you can hear that, it's uh, Lizzie and Callie are playing ping pong in the game room. Sorry about that. They're getting a little excited in there. I heard you had a dance party, Tuck Tuck says. Every other town in the house was there. They're all talking about it. Oh, just because I get washed with girl clothes doesn't mean I don't want to go to a party, says Tuck Tuck. I'm, and just because I can't dance doesn't mean I don't want to either. Here's a picture. Lumpy 
doesn't know what to say. He wants to make Tuck Tuck feel better, but they are inside Frank's wash tub and he can't say in front of Frank that he had never intended to have the dance party in the first place. So he re remains silent and Tuck Tuck stays silent too. They let Frank go through his cycle. When it's done, Frank's buzzer beeps and Honey's mother returns to the basement. She dumps Lumpy and the towels into the hamper while she talks to the workman who's finally, finally finished. He's putting away his tools and the dryer is pushed back against the wall. Thanks so much, the mom tells him. Come up here and I'll write you a check. She sets down the laundry basket. Don't you want to put that in? He says, gesturing at the damp wash. Silly me, she holds up Lumpy. This can go in as well. Should be okay. Honey's mother shoves Lumpy and all the towels into the dryer and turns it on. The dryer purrs. Fumpa, bagbo, fumpa, bagbo. It is seriously hot in the dryer. Fumpa, bagbo, bagbo, fumpa, bagbo, bagbo. That's the noise Lumpy makes when he's in it because he rides three quarters of the way up to the turning drum and then fum, drops down to the bottom onto Tuk Tuk in the clothes and bagbo, bagbo, bumps around a few times before riding back up and then bump back down. It is not his favorite experience at all. In fact, he feels sick to his stomach, worse than he's ever felt sick to his stomach before, but he keeps his mouth shut. He doesn't complain one tiny complaint even. He's so happy that the dryer is well again, that she won't be dragged off to the dump and replaced by a stranger, that Frank won't be lonely, that all the wishing was help would help them. When the dryer halts, it's after dinner time, but the spring sky is still bright the evening sun shining through the basement windows. Honey and her parents are out of the house. Lumpy can tell by how quiet it is. I'm so glad you're feeling better, he calls after the dryer's drum rolls to a stop. She swings her door open and since the house is empty, he climbs out. Tuck Tuck remains in an exhausted heap with the girl clothes. We all wished and hoped that you'd be okay, Lumpy tells the dryer. We were so worried. I was so worried, puts in Frank. With you pulled out from the wall like that, you can't even imagine. Sometimes I thought that workman didn't know what he was doing. I thought you were never gonna tumble dry again. I thought you were leaving me, Frank sobs. I was so lonely, I didn't know what to do. There, there, love, says the dryer. I know, I know, but it's all right now. Late at night, when the people are sound asleep, Lumpy creeps upstairs and gets plastic sheep, stingray spark, bonkers, Millie, brownie, and rocky. They bring down jingle sticks, finger symbols, a maraca, some silver confetti, and several orange and yellow balloons found in the bottom of the toy box. Mm, what do you think they're doing? When they get to the basement, they sprinkle the floor with silver, then wake up Frank, the dryer, Tuck Tuck, and the purple towels. Spark, who is hollow, blows up the balloons. Dance party! Frank starts off with Love Train and the towels join in, providing backbeat and harmonies. Rocky and Millie bounce on the towels and Lumpy bangs the cymbals. Stingray taps her tail and as the beat gets her going, begins hopping up and down with her flippers and leaping into the air. The party's for you, not just the dryer, Lumpy tells Tuck Tuck. I won't forget to invite you again. Frank overhears and interrupts Love Train to boom. Shall I sing something for the little lady? Yes, please, says Lumpy, because she is my particular towel friend. He rubs his buffalo nose against Tuck Tuck's warm folds, and Frank sings, Tuckety Tuck Tuck, yellow like a yellow duck, Tuckety Tuck Tuck, boom, Tuckety Tuck Tuck, yellow like a chicken clock, Tuckety Tuck Tuck, boom. The song is so good, they sing it over and over again, with adding in, yellow like a corn shock, Tuckety Tuck Tuck, boom, like a cali pillar dump truck, Tuckety Tuck Tuck, boom. Tuck Tuck, seated on top of the dryer and singing back up with some other towels, isn't angry with Lumpy anymore. The music is loud. Plastic bounces and spins. Spark rears on her tail and waggles a jingle stick ferociously. And Stingray is flapping and clapping. Lumpy is going to town with the cymbals. Bonkers and Brownie are wiggling themselves so hysterically they keep falling over their tails, which sends them into fits of giggles while the dryer swings her front door open and shut and blinks all her lights on and off. She's dancing. Sweetheart, says Frank when the Tuck Tuck song's over, the next one's for you. Tao, back me up some more. Here we go. She's our dryer, la da dee da. She's healthy, diddly da. We love that dryer, shake, shake, shake. Here's their little party. Look at them all having so much fun. I love it. 
Cause she's our dryer, shake, shake, shake. If your damp she'll dry you out. If your cold she'll warm you up. She makes a lovely sound. We're glad our dryer's around. Everybody now. She's our dryer, la da da da. We love that dryer. Cause she's our dryer, shake, shake, shake. Ooh yeah. Don't you guys wish you could just be there? Chapter six, let's do our nails. Plastic and Spark are in the bathtub. It's bouncy to have a friend to float with. And Plastic is boinging herself against the tiled wall and dropping back into the water with a big splash. Spark is swimming in circles with only her fin above the water. It's a Saturday afternoon in late spring. Honey has a soccer game and the family's out of the house. Lumpy watches Plastic and Spark from atop the closed toilet seat. Stingray is looking at the pretty colors of nail polish lined up at the back of the sink. Purple, red, pale green, and glitter gold. Robin's egg blue. Each one has a tiny brush inside of it. Guys, I don't know if we're gonna finish. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to call it quits for today. I'm gonna leave you hanging. And good news is I'll be back tomorrow to finish. I love you guys. Make it a great day.